Hey everybody, Gene Rally 2 out today, early access. Let's give it a go. But first a few niggles. Well, the positive is you won't have my face stuck in the middle of the, of the opening screen. So at least that's something. Um, issues, here in the menu, if I go frame by frame, 60 FPS recording, every frame the car updates. So I do get 60 frames per second. However, when we are driving with V-Sync or without V-Sync, the frame rate limit with Afterburner, it doesn't matter, it's not smooth. Let's see what happens here. So we get five frames of action and then one frame static, more most of the time. So one, two, three, four, five, static. One, two, three, four, five, static. One, two, three, four, five, stat. No, oh, there was one, no, oh, no, that one, static. So regardless of V-Sync or not, so that creates a stuttery non-fluid motion, which is, I think must be fixable, but still quite annoying. Original Gene Rally, one, two, three, four, five. Every frame gets an update. It does seem somewhat inconsistent maybe with the pacing. The distance covered between each frame, it seems a little, a little no, well, not stuttery, but a fair, maybe a bit inconsistent, but at least each frame I get the car in a new position. So original Gene Rally comes across smoother and I cannot fix that in Gene Rally 2. So I hope they can find a way to sync the updates, not only have each frame uh, be a different frame, no uh, static frames in between, but these days with higher refresh rate uh, screens as well, the absolute fluidity you can achieve with modern screens and, and that just needs a good synchronization of graphics and physics and position that currently leaves something to be uh, desired. So I will just focus on the handling, the physics, the feel and uh, not care about the tire wear and the pit stops and all the different cars and the tracks. I'm going with a familiar car track combo. We'll try the General and the Formula uh, at Mondega, which is sort of a Monaco type uh, street track. Gripe the second after the fairly serious stuttering issues, we cannot yet rebind the controls. I prefer to use AZ, point and comma to, to control. It's a little more comfortable using two hands than using the arrow keys, but for now that's not a huge deal. I think they will add that later. We can just do a local race, press my throttle. Let's do the general first and let's pick the old classic track. Turn off the fuel tire wear damage. Let's just do some laps and see how uh, how it responds. This loading icon is amazing. That's probably the coolest thing. So I've played it for about half an hour now. And why am I here? <laughs> why have I crashed already? I find the handling to be very inconsistent and wooden and weird. I don't have the video skills to uh, edit the video so that, that you see the car, the line the car takes. I think it will be very jagged and not smooth. And we will do some original Gene Rally as well, because that is just so different in how it is a fluid dance and I'm so struggling so much. I have no idea where the car will go yet. It's very wooden and... Oh, see, it went sideways in a weird way where it just continues. Let's see how it just... Eh. And now I'm out of, of bounds almost again of the track. Of course, I do not expect it to be identical to Gene Rally. Then you would just play Gene Rally. But I do think, hope that you can take Gene Rally and have that incredible fluidity of gameplay. The completely intuitive, thrilling even. Uh, but just add one or two itty little bits, maybe even three little bits or four little bits while staying somewhat true to the original. Now, as you can see, I can drive. Ish. And it is more fun, I would say, than Circuit Superstars. Is that the name? So I did try Circuit Superstars and also a little bit of uh, Art of Rally. And while I appreciate the style of these games, and I'm, it seems to be that these games are made by enthusiasts and they did all, their, all they could, but the handling in those games, I also do not like. So I am very picky when it comes to my sort of top-down racing games because Gene Rally, all those years ago, set such a high standard for 
being simple yet difficult, uh, very intuitive and logical. So there is a certain disconnect of yeah, like a dead zone in in the rotation of the car, and then suddenly it starts to uh, it starts to turn. And it's just not fluid and you can end up in very weird places by sliding off in ways you could never do in the original Gene Rally. But it's that woodenness, that non-fluidity that is bothering me a little bit. And again, it's not, it's not that it's not fun. It is still and I'm learning how to do it a bit better now. But here, I'm completely off the track again. It happens every now and then. That just never happens in the original Gene Rally. So there are cases where the grip is somehow inconsistent. And it seems that if you're off the throttle, the car just keeps going for longer than you would expect. So let's uh, do a little bit of a test down the straight and lift and steer. Lift and steer. It sort of slows down quite slowly there. And it also reacts differently on the first itty bit of keep tapping. It gets a little bit of initial reaction, whereas it feels more in original Gene Rally that it's more smooth. Where the nose is pointing is not where the car is going instantly in Gene Rally. And here it seems like maybe instantly it already reacts and then there is that sort of inertia delay. And that's weird, that weird slide. I do not understand this and that's the beauty of the original Gene Rally and I'm not making this up, it's, it's actually thrilling for a top-down racing game. There is both an initial response that I don't expect and then a laziness, especially off-throttle, the car just keeps going wherever it was going and that's a bit odd. And this is not the worst car for it because I also tried the formula, which I will do now, every six frame is why am I there? How is that even possible? So, you could say this is new, you have to get used to it, and of course that is that is definitely true, but the beauty of a good racing game is you with AC or AMS or R Factor 2, you can get in, and while you're not a genius, you're in control most of the time. It should be probably more intuitive. As if the physics have they Why? The loading screen is amazing. And the art style, I mean, it's a shame to be a bit negative about it because the passion of the guys of Gene Rally, and I think they've tried to get the game out for a long time and now they have it. And here I am, not liking it. Formula, same track. It remembers the track once you've selected it, uh, but if I restart the game, it will not remember my last track. Different sound. The formula is really different because sort of V10-ish it is so weird this has an immediate reaction now it seems it has a glue mode and a sliding nothing happens mo mode so instead of having to turn in advance you have to turn way later because it's more glued to the track now again ugh. but it's inconsistent because sometimes it is sliding and then all the grip seems to be gone and then you just don't make the turn. Whereas the formula in the original Gene Rally is tighter than the general car, the other one. But it has the same behavior. It, 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 you rotate the car first and then a bit later it starts to actually turn that way in that, that direction. And here it instantly turns for some bit. And then as well you can be completely somewhere oh, else. Hello. <clears throat> so I really struggle to understand what the game wants me to do with this car. I like the idea that a formula car is more planted. But that at low speed it would just wouldn't turn. So we have lots of grip, immediate change of direction. And now here I look at how slow I was going there and I didn't make the turn. I cannot get a feel for this really, it's very difficult. 
Now, this car I've only tried six minutes, but it's not really about, oh, you can learn it. it is it, if it's intuitive, I think it would be possible to do a little bit better after seven minutes. So it, it completely stuck to the ground there. But the transition between sticking and sliding is unintuitive and, and a bit odd. And the difference in grip and responsiveness is, is way too large, I think. So it, I don't know what's wrong with turn one there, but. So I'd say it needs a lot of work and this is not something like, oh, we'll optimize it. I think there are some decisions made with the physics. Maybe they are fully aware of this and this is what the target was, but it's not as intuitive. You can learn it. And I think I see I'm already not sucking quite as much, he says. They're always sliding a bit. So I don't get why I am sort of sliding out at some corners and completely gripping in the other. It's that completely smooth transition from, from gripping and, and sliding that is absolutely required for a game like this to have proper oversteery, actually sort of ugh, scary, that on the limit feel. And it is not what I'm experiencing now. So. Let's boot up the original Gene Rally. Uh, let me explain why that is different and in my opinion better than this successor. Original Gene Rally then, in the general. So if I lift and steer, the car has a bit of a bend in it. Whereas with Gene Rally 2, it sort of just goes sideways. This one still, turns into the corner a little bit if I slow down like that. It goes sideways quite a bit, but it also follows a curve. And that's the, the path of the car is always a smooth curve. That's it, it looks smoother because this actually does run at 60 FPS, but it's not that. It's really the underlying physics that just always have the car on a very smooth, gentle transition from going straight and left and right. It's never like juddery or shocking with, with little inputs that it suddenly does something. It's a beautifully smooth. And you have to time the lifts and when you lift, you can make a tighter bend. I've never managed to spin out of turn, uh, turn one the way I can in, in, in the second installment. And it is, it's, it feels weird to explain this to you, but it is actually a thrill. If you nail a lap, the car does sometimes get a bit upset of over bumps or it's not always 1 million percent perfect, but on a whole, you know where the car will be if you tap the keys this much or that often. And if you slow down into a turn, you will always re remain like cornering. You will always have some curvature in your where you're going rather than the straight lines that are, yeah, it struggles to make up its mind if you want to go straight or through a corner. This is sort of one model and it almost feels like Gene Rally 2 at the moment has a we go straight model and oh, now we're turning model and we struggle to blend the two together. And this is seamless almost. And this is so much fun. I played Gene Rally, the original one, this one for a few hours a year. And, you know, it's not a major part of my time spent on a computer. But every time I do, AI races are absolutely mental, which is really good, fu good fun. I'm not looking at it in this video, but. Nice and tight. Ah, good fun earlier. So I want to do more. This is challenging. Look at my consistency is not bad. Well, he says. That's better exit. Yeah, this is so different. Uh, let's take the formula because that was even more of a weird sort of feel in, in the new game where it didn't know how to translate 
how to sort of transition that's the word between sliding and, and, and not sliding and here this car is just a slightly grippier less oversteery version of the previous car but still completely intuitive absolute joy oh nailed it wall riding yeah, this is it, it this is amazing so if anything original uh, gene rally free lots of tracks available has not been surpassed not with gene rally 2 i don't think yet very early early days i hope uh, it will improve maybe it, it will actually there is development going on for uh, the new game so it might uh, improve but compared to circuit superstars art of rally no, nothing beats a gene rally. This is so thrilling, so consistent in its control, so smooth going from a little bit of slides to more slides. Oh, lifting off makes your, your line a bit tighter, but you always have that nice curvature where you're going. Brilliant, brilliant fun. If you are uh, really old, and I do mean really old, uh, maybe you remember Slicks and Slide. Also a free game for DOS which was one of the first of these top-down races where the car wasn't always going where it was pointing. If you look at the absolutely early days of top-down racing games for the Nintendo and even for the Atari, these handling models were Super Sprint maybe, one of, one of them, were so simple that the nose of the car where it was pointing, that's where the car was going. Slicks and Slide, I think 1993, was one of the first games that I liked a lot back in the day where the, yeah, the car was actually sliding. And you had those skid marks as well. So in many ways, in my opinion, Gene Rally is a successor to Slicks and Slide. But if you play Slicks and Slide, it's also really sort of wooden and it's almost as if there are only like 16 directions the car can point to and it slides. Yeah, but it's not very smooth. This sort of feels like uh, Gene Rally 2 is in between Slicks and Slide and original Gene Rally. So that super smoothness of Gene Rally in the handling and the fluidity of the transitions and the motion arcs that here are, are jagged. So that's, that's a good way to describe it with a game you've never played. Good job, Niels. I also think you cannot turn off the ghost car, which I always hate ghost cars. Afraid of ghosts. So maybe that is the conclusion uh, currently after uh, early access who knows what will happen in the future i might join the discord and shout at people which is my favorite thing to do is that it somewhat feels between the wooden weird controls of the 8-bit era games and, and slicks and slide in the early 90s and the masterpiece that is the original gene rally i do not expect the handling to be identical to gene rally i expect it to be controllable logical fluid and just a joy and a challenge and i'm not quite finding uh, finding that yet so that's about it for now is it fun yes is it as fun as gene rally the first not yet i hope they improve it because with online play and of course uh some extra features I i'm sure they will add this could be a lot of fun so let's hope they improve um and it's not an expensive game you will can have some hours of fun i have yet to try the ai it was mental in the first game i'm sure it's fun here too so it's not bad as far as top down races go i prefer to drive this over circuit superstars and art of rally but it's not as good as your one yet all right bye bye